Okay, hi, I'm Brian Dino, Northwest Regional Digital Coach. I'm going to show you how to add an activity to Seesaw that will direct your users to print something you want them to print at home to be able to use as an activity. So here's my sample Seesaw class. I'm going to go up to the plus button, the circle green button, hit plus. I'm going to select assign activity. Up comes my activity library. On the left side, I'm going to create a new activity and I give it a name. I'm going to say print coloring pages. My student instructions are going to be important. So one, I'm going to say click the add response button and uh, it's green. I could put a little icon in here um, if I copy the instructions from an existing template, but I'll just type them for now. So click the add response button. Click view instructions, which will be at the top of the page. And then third is I want them to click on the picture. And then four, click uh, view original. And then five, print a picture from home printer and then uh, let's add click view original we'll say picture should appear in new window and if you want to add voice instructions you can uh, I'm not going to but if you want to elaborate you can in case uh, you're translating for different languages now I want to add the multimedia. I want to add the picture. So I'm going to come to add multimedia and I want to upload. So I'm going to select upload and I want, uh, I have a coloring picture. I could probably find it from my computer. If I have it on there, I can just drop it in, but I know it's in my Google drive. So I'm going to go select from Google drive. Your Google Drive can be a bit unwieldy. unwieldy. Uh, I know the name of what I want. It's called coloring. And here it is. It's a coloring page grade one. So I'm going to find it. Google Drive is going to upload it. And there is my coloring page that I want them to print at home. And... Uh, I'm going to hit the green arrow on the top right side of Seesaw here. It will upload it. There it is. And I uh, have my name, my instructions, my example attached. And now uh, there's a few more options down below if I want. I could put some teacher notes in there. Um, I could schedule this for later. But I think that's it. So I'm going to hit my back button. Uh, actually, I think it's being, let me close this. There we go. I'm going to hit the save button on the bottom right. Hit save. It saves the activity. And now um, I'm going to assign it. So I'm going to assign it to one of my classes. I could assign it to certain kids. Let's assign it to grade five, all of these students in grade five, period one. It assigns the activity. I love this window because I want to view the activity of how my kids or parents will see it. So I'm going to view the activity now. The activity is assigned. And I'm viewing it now. Here's how it should look from a student standpoint. So here it is, print coloring pages. Click the add response button in green. Then click the view instructions at the top of the page. So I'm going to click add response and I want to go in as my sample student. Here's what they would see. 
And they're like, well, what, what do I do here? View instructions. When they click view instructions, it says, oh, click view instructions. Top of the page, click on the picture. I click on the picture. This is where they might get confused a bit, but click on the picture. And they click view original. And the original appears in a new window. And they can print from their browser. <clears throat> so they can print. Up will come their print. And they should be able to print that from their home printer. Let me just close out of that window. And again, this is what they see. If they click view Google Doc, they should also see the same thing. But um, that might require them to be logged into Google. Um, so... When they close out of there, um, they should be able to print that document from um, their home computer. I'm going to close out of there. And now we, now we tested it as a student. And that is an assigned activity for your students in Seesaw that will allow them to print an image. One quick tip here, this particular image that I have over here, it might be best for whatever you want them to print whatever you want them to print should be a pdf or ideally should be a pdf so i'm going to open my drive drive and if i go into my recent items I see this coloring page right here. Um, oh, it actually opened it. It's not a PDF. It's actually a Google Doc, but Seesaw converted it to a PDF, so that's good. PDFs print um, very easily on most computers. So there you have it, uh, how to print a coloring page or print an image from within Seesaw. And there might be other ways to do this, but this is one method.